Hey guys, it's HD Gaming here, and welcome to a brand new video. Today's topic is going to be about the slow death of Pokemon Go. Is Pokemon Go really dying? Let's get right into it. So Pokemon Go has been out for about a month and two weeks now. In its first two weeks of release, it blew up so damn much that it became the most played game in the world. Here, just look at this graph. Ever since those two weeks when Pokemon Go hit its prime, it has actually slowed down. And now the number of users are actually rapidly declining over the weeks. This can be of many reasons. Well first of all, there has been a lot of BS in Pokemon Go. After two weeks of release, which is about the time when the nearby section of the app went a little crazy and the three step glitch was found, the glitch literally made the game unplayable as the Pokemon on the nearby section weren't even in relevant order to show how close they are from you. This angered the users as the game isn't quite fun without the guidance. This is one big reason as to why there have been a decrease in users. So when the 3-step glitch didn't work, there needed to be a fix. Well, there was, but from some third-party people. Third-party developers created a website called Pokevision, which completely blew up and grew, uh, guided everyone to their desired Pokemon. I have a full video on Pokevision if you want to go check that out. The link will be in the description. After Pokevision got shut down about two weeks after gaining popularity, this caused another drastic decrease of players playing Pokemon Go. Because again, there was no guidance for the Pokemon Go players to go catch their Pokemon. Another important factor is really Niantic themselves removing bot accounts or accounts that have hacks or spoofed the GPS. I've reported in another video that Niantic's first wave of bans was last week. If you want to go check that out, the link will be in the description down below. Maybe the last most significant problem that is causing users to abandon Pokemon Go is just the limitations they have in the area that they live. Most people that live in rural areas will not ever see any gyms or Pokestops or new Pokemon. And even if they see Pokemon in general, it's only going to be a Pidgey or Rattata or Weedle. And that's one of the biggest problems with Pokemon Go users. And judging by the fact that Niantic relies on some type of map software, maybe it's Google Maps for example, it will put Pokemon in places that are quite popular, but will abandon places that don't have many roads for example, which are in rural areas. Therefore, by using a map software like that, I honestly don't think that Niantic are changing their way of putting Pokemon in some places anytime soon. But in general, once all the bandwagon players stop playing this game and the cheaters get banned, the vast majority of the Pokemon Go users will continue playing as it is their passion of theirs since they were kids. I for one am part of that group, but there is one problem of course for even those type of people. The game honestly gets dull after a few weeks of playing it and getting the same Pokemon over and over. If, if you actually don't travel, you will not catch all the Pokemon, which is quite a bummer. So Niantic must do some things in order to step it up and reignite the flame that has been extinguished in some people's hearts. So with that, I'm going to end the video. If you guys like this commentary, please just give this video a like, share it, and check out my other videos. I'm sure you'll like them. If you guys are new here, subscribe for more Pokemon Go related news and content. Make sure to turn on those notifications if you haven't already to get immediate updates. And with that guys, I'm out. Peace.